So I've changed around my Hyperland setup a lot and I just wanted to show my new setup to you. So the main thing I changed in this entire setup is that if you seen my previous uh, Hyperland setups you'll see how everything is translucent and blurry. I changed all of that. I changed the color scheme. Mainly I changed it to one dark and the reason why is because previously I had a custom color scheme. The problem with that is when you are you whenever you want to find a theme for something, it's really hard and you just can't find anything that fits your custom color scheme. So I changed it to one dark since that's a color scheme that I really like and in some of my past videos uh, you might have seen me using fish as a shell but I switched back to bash because uh, I didn't really like it. Uh, for example there are some bash comments that I really like. For example if I type man dash syu and I forgot to run it as root instead of just retyping the command or pressing the up arrow to go all the way to the top again like this. The way I would do it is just to sudo and then double bangs that basically executes the command before so previous command basically and these are just bash features that are essential for me and I didn't really find this in the fish shell and I also got a vim uh, modification here called space vim I've been enjoying it so far if you open up an empty buffer you can see this is how it looks like I can you know open up uh, let's say my hyperland config hyperland.conf here's my hyperland configuration not that much because uh, this is not the main configuration it's like split up into four different files or so different files whatever that's uh, space swim and i can you know just close it and open it with one single key binding and that's how space swim is the terminal is obviously kitty this wallpaper i got from a wallpaper bank get a pretty point leave the link down in the description and this is Rofi so you might have seen Rofi in my previous video it's all transparent blurred I changed a lot of that I changed the colors and also have this cool like effect where it kind of shrinks the more or the less results there are so that's really nice and that's pretty much my new setup talking about Viva I have changed it quite a lot so you see how well, aside from the colors, I changed a lot of colors. I removed the, the transparency and blur, and uh, I had a border at the top. So there would be these lines at the top. I moved those lines to the bottom, so now those are here at the bottom. And as for window title, so if I open up a browser, uh, the window title had this line as well. I removed it because whenever I was in an empty workspace, it would still show that line with nothing on the title. That was really useless. And yeah, I changed all of the Wofi settings to Rofi. So here's my wallpaper picker. I can pick something like an arch. Yeah, here we go. This is a one dark wallpaper. And I so far I'm enjoying this setup. I have no problems with it. As well, if I open up my file manager, which is Nemo, you can see how I changed all of the icons and GDK theme. This is just a one dark GDK theme. So if I open up browser, I just search for one dark GTK theme and I clicked on the first uh, bling result. So here it is Adam one dark GTK theme is the one I used and as for the icons, I think I searched for one dark icon and yeah here it is. So if you want to use this setup then of course I have a github repository for that. You can just head over to github.com slash I leave it in the description artboyx slash one dark hyperland I think it's called I don't even remember yeah here it is this is the setup you can see more screenshots of it installing it is really easy you just copy the files over I don't make install scripts because I feel like then it's not really fun installing something and I'm just really lazy to make one as well so it's really easy you just follow this guide install these dependencies and you will have a similar setup you are, I also have a backup script. It's very simple. You just open it to show you. It makes a folder in home called a dot .files backup. Copies over all of the dot .files or at least all of the dot .files that are being replaced to this new backup directory and that's it. So I made this repo recently. Make sure to store it and all that. Yeah, whatever.
and that's my new setup i hope you like it some of you don't and some of you think this is like the node color scheme yeah i get that so the reason i used the one dark aside from you know all of these themes for it is the fact that it's not just based on one color so if you have let's say the node color palette then it's going to be based on just a blue color and i don't like that i want different colors and that's why i used one dark and so hope you enjoyed my new hyperland setup and bye bye